Let's open some mail. Hey, Zero Eleven here, and today we got some more mail. I'm gonna be opening a few packages here, and then I'm gonna reveal a recent purchase. It's actually not too recent. I got quite a while back, but I'll reveal that today. Also, I gotta point out everything's getting pushed back. It looks like Ice is gonna be out in like late November now. Hopefully, Platinum comes out this month. I don't even know if there's gonna be any new products out in October, which is not ideal. So you know what? I got plenty of mail to open up. So there's gonna be a lot of mail videos this month in anticipation of those new releases. So with that out of the way, let's get on to the first package. Okay, first package here is just a little PWE. Get that note off here. Okay. Hello, Ziri. I've been watching your channel for almost two years now, and you got me back into collecting the hobby. Nice. Love your content. Very enjoyable and never fails to put a smile on my face. You have inspired me to make my own YouTube and Instagram, which are Hockey Cards 86. I'd like to thank you with some cards. I really hope you enjoy these cards. Go Islander. Hockey Cards 86. I'm not even sure what that says there. Is that Jalen? There's his Instagram and YouTube, Hockey Cards 86. Thank you for sending me those Jack Hughes cards a while ago. Promised a package. Oh, that's right. Okay. PFP is Hughes and Cousins. My PC is Jack Hughes. Dylan Cousins, any Islander. Okay, HKY cards 86. Let's see what he sent. Well, first off, we got a Captain Tomorrow, Uncle Todd, Fisherman, Islanders, Uncle Todd. Pretty sure I have this one there, but always happy to get more Fisherman, Uncle Todd there. Might be rookie year there. I'm pretty sure it is. So we got whatever's in here. It looks like we got some John Tavares stuff. Makes sense coming from an Islanders fan there, but Net Crashers Tavares there. Darby Hendrickson, a rookie there from Fleer Ultra. Corey Perry All Star Retro there. OPG and a John Tavares Blue from SP. So, Hockey Cards 86. Thank you for that package. Appreciate it. All right, next one up here, another PWE. Looks like we just got one card in here. <laughs> right there. But we do have a long note here. Hey, Ziri, my name is Brad. I've been a fan of your channel since 2016. Wow. In which you opened a 1516 UD Series 1 Blaster Box. Jeez. That, that that's crazy. That's a long time. Five, six years now. Wow. I want to write you to tell you to keep up the great work with the channel and continue growing. Appreciate that. Channels like yours are allowing the hobby to grow what it is becoming. And wanting to take this time to thank you as I am currently undergoing a second fight with blood cancer. Damn. And your videos have helped during treatment when I have long days at the hospital. Jeez. They help provide an escape for, does that say four? If there's a point when I'm not feeling well. My first diagnosis came when I was at the age of 14 and now 10 years later it has unfortunately made a relapse and I will have to try to Ottawa for a stem cell transplant. I am from Newfoundland and I'm a huge Maple Leafs fan. My favorite player is Mitch Marner, who I PC and am currently hunting for his young gun. Canvas. Yeah, I remember buying Marner's canvas back in 2016. Never kept it, not sure why. If I can have you help in finding one, it'd be greatly appreciated. Noted. I don't have one myself, but I will keep that in mind. I'm also planning on starting a Josh Norris and Alex Newhook PC in the near future. Nice. I would love to hear back from you or even a follow on Instagram would be appreciated as the channel has really been helping during this fight and i will win again best regards there's brad and there is his instagram there i'll definitely give you a follow this was sent back in april and may regardless brad i hope you're doing well sending you well wishes and i'm glad my videos can help you in any manner so thank you so much for this letter really do appreciate it so yeah <coughs> okay continuing on here probably should have saved that one for the end but we got some rice krispy squares so yeah let's get this open here's a note here this is from your slab yeah you sent before but yeah found another box of hockey cards mark baseball wife if you remember told me to throw out all my hockey cards they take up too much space. She didn't say anything about my baseball cards to throw them out. I opened up a box in which I thought are baseball cards and to my surprise, the box was full of hockey cards. I went through them, threw some out, jeez, and left some for you. Sometimes drinking helps to save hockey cards. Enjoy the cards. Here's slav. Yes, Ron Ellis card turned backwards has an error. Total games played. Alright, I'll be sure to keep that in mind, but Miroslav, we'll see what you sent once again. First off, just in the box here, we got this Phil Kessel autograph and uh, not even sure when that's around. Maybe like 20 yeah 14 15 right there phil there you go that's cool very cool right there and then we have two uh ultra pro deck boxes here let's just start with this one here okay we got bill 70s card right there there you go interesting there it's really cut not great there i uh, got doug moans and atlanta flames card so a lot of ugh, 70s cards here and we have ron ellis so here's what he's talking about here yeah it shows 305 games played when there's a lot more than 305 there so there's a ron ellis i'm familiar with that design there we got team leaders from the rangers there roger bear brad Park, Brad Park, Roger Bear. Okay, so it's like a 75 card there. We got Tom Webster of the Whalers, Hugh Harris of the Racers. Is this a WHA card there? Interesting, there it's bilingual too. We got Brian Campbell, not that Brian Campbell. That's WHA, a 77. Interesting, there we got a Vic Hadfield. That's cool. New York Rangers, there. I am not familiar with vintage, but that's 72 73. That's a good design there. Tony White Capitals, there we got Brian Watson behind him there. Capitals, very interesting cards there. We got the Flyers, there Bobby Clark in the middle, there Dennis. Kearns of the Canucks, Harry Martin, Al Cameron, Larry Brown, Pitt Martin,
Ben is there on the Colorado Rockies there, so that's like 78, 79. And this iconic design, wonder who could be in that. But yeah, that's 79, 80. Doug Hicks, another Doug. Bill Riley, Dave Hoyta, Vancouver Canucks, 79, 80 there. The V, look at that jersey cheese. There's the Sabres there. That is not a great picture, what the heck? Wow, look at these cards. Uh, very interesting there. Oh, Wayne Gretzky, 80, 81 assist leader. So, got an Upichi Gretzky assist leader. Probably in like ESA 2 or 3 right there, but there you go. Uh, we got this. Hamilton Canuck, opening night puck drop, 92-93, and the World Junior Championships alumni. Should I open these, or should I just leave these sealed, I think? Yeah. Regardless, that's really cool there. And then the final thing from Miroslav here, just some more miscellaneous cards. Top Prospects game card, Team Cherry there. Huh. Ooh, Mike Trout base card. Nice, what year is that? That 2019 tops there, Mike Trout, there you go. Ooh, Rainbow Jonathan Taze, nice. Uh, JP Dumont, Crown Royal, this is like the Emerald there. Let's see, numbering, there you go. Roberto Luongo, champ. We got some Atomic, Jason Arnott, Chris Gratton, Crown Royal, right there. Scott Thornton, some nice old Pacific stuff here. Private Stock there. Canuck Stickers, oh, that's really cool there. That's Stickers, I don't even want to touch that. That's really cool though, Canuck Stickers. Rookie Headliners, Victor Stahlberg from 910. Christian Hansen, Marky Rookie. Got <laughs> Brendan Leipzig, Rookie there. Mark andre Fleury, second year SBA, that's interesting there. Got a Froloff, Pacific, sets that from? Calder Collection Rookie out of 1500 there. I don't think I've ever seen that, but... There you go, Froloff. Got Stefan Ustorf there. That's actually from 94, 95. Or 95, 96, one of those years. Yeah, it's 95, 96. There you go. Pinnacle rookie of Jan Bullis. Milan Kraft, reserve. Andre Kostitsin certified. Bowman rookie card. Nederos, definitely a fan of the Bowman stuff there. Stadium club there. Trent Hunter rookie. Got a David Lake one. OPG Chrome. Whaler there. AF Donfus. Prospects, OPG there. Prism, whoa. Eric Jelena. Uh, future prospects from Upper Deck Vintage there. Another one there. And a Yip, Marky Rook. Ben Hanowski, Titanium Retail Red to 99 rookie there, Christian Fisher MVP, Cody France and Young Guns, got a Cody Hodson MVP rookie, John Hayden Platinum rookie, Corbin Knight 1415 Platinum rookie, Alexei Mikhanov Young Guns there, Ryan White Young Guns, Michael Zalewski Young Guns, some Young Guns here, Alexander Grenier, Sergei Plotnikov, Gustav Forsling, which is a decent one there, he's on the Panthers now, David Alstrom, another Young Guns there, Heater, there we go, Young Stars, nice card right there, I'm not sure if I have that one, but there you go. Go. Heater there. Oh, there we go. In action. Nice. We got. Alfie there, quest for the cup. Hey, there he is, Josh Jose. Glossy rookie, a little off center there, but it's a red one there, and an Uncle Todd. I have several of these cards, the classic there, but there you go. So, Miroslav, thank you so much for that package. Some very interesting stuff in there, a lot of stuff I've never seen before. So, thank you so much for that. Glad you didn't throw these away. And now on to the purchase. I got this while back. When I saw it, I had to pick it up. Yes, it is on eBay. If you've been following my eBay, you would have seen this on my eBay. I may or may not link it in the description, my eBay that is. But yeah, a while back, I picked up is Sidney Crosby. Now it's from 1920 buybacks. It's actually a 1718 Platinum Retro Rainbow that was bought back and signed by Sid there and there's only one of them. It's a one of one. Whoa. Rainbowy Refractor 101 of Sid there. So yeah, I do have it on eBay. Not because I necessarily want to sell it, but it's up there just to get a feel for what people will offer me for it. I have had some strong offers for it. I'm not going to say how much I paid for it, but this card is along the same lines as some of the other cards I've purchased recently that aren't going to to my main collection which is the future watch collection so and that is accessibility for collectors outside of hockey these ones that have been purchasing have some familiarity with other sport card collectors that aren't hockey collectors obviously for Sid here it's a one of one refractor card of one of the best active players in the league a very familiar player if you follow sports you know who Sidney Crosby is and I know that shiny cards are a big thing and the silvers and the refractors are a big thing in other sports not as big in hockey but this one just makes a whole lot of sense like you can see it with my other purchases here like I got the McDavid exquisite rookie I got this McDavid auto over other autos in the same range because familiarity. Like, if you're a basketball collector, you know what exquisite is. I mean, the cup is basically hockey's version of exquisite. That's exactly what it is, but that's one reason why I got that. And obviously, like, a PMG here was made popular by basketball. The late 90s there. That's why I have that one of Matthews. Same with this Matthews here. It's a shiny card. Ooh, everybody loves shiny cards. It's not really caught on that big in hockey, but obviously this one because NT is still a big set with football and basketball. Until Fanatic 
Fanatics takes over, and they're probably going to outbid Upper Deck in 2024 or whenever their license comes up. So they're going to have a monopoly, and I'm a little scared. But regardless, yeah, with these cards, I don't have a real attachment to it other than this one. Like, these are all movable. I have others as well. But yeah, I feel like I've collected almost everything I've wanted to collect in terms of my main PC, the Future Watch Auto Collection. So right now, it's going to take a very long time unless I nuke that Future Watch Auto Collection. I'm trying to work my way up so I can eventually acquire one of these cards. That's like the ultimate goal of mine is to try to get one of those cards one day without having to absolutely destroy my future watch collection i do not want to do that like i said years ago if i nuke my future watch collection that might eliminate all enjoyment of the hobby for me so yeah that's the ultimate goal for my collection i know i'm a long ways away I'm probably gonna have to move all these and get like one really big card and then use that one really big card and extra cash to get another really big card and keep on going and hopefully one day i'll finally get one of those cards before they're way too much they're already ridiculous amount but yeah that's the goal of mine i have if i don't reach it that's fine i mean i'm happy holding these these are really nice cards but yeah guys there's another mail video i have another purchase coming that's really dumb like i actually regret it as soon as i hit buy but stay tuned for that as always thanks for watching i'll see you guys later